Welcome back everyone, I'm Debunk, and this is my single player Let's Play World here on the Bedrock Edition. In the last first episode, we got uh, some basic things done, did some little bit of adventuring just to gather some materials, and I built this little starter home behind me. And in front of me, of course, is this beautiful mangrove swamp. I love it. I uh, love the area that I'm in. Love the swamp. Love the area I'm in. Um, I want to go on today's episode, and we're going to do a little bit more adventuring um, because I am very sh I have no iron except for the tools and a few things that I've already made. I have no iron. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to venture off, I think, in maybe that direction and see if I can find a mountain where I can climb the mountain and get lots of iron. So that I can get properly geared up. The only uh, thing I have is this helmet, which uh, a zombie dropped. So that's the goal, at least for right now. And we'll see how where that exploration takes us and how long it takes. And if we have time, we'll come back and do something else this episode. But at least for now, the plan is adventuring. Okay, so we've got a full stack of wood. Um... Little bits of tools, uh, 17 mutton, should be good to go. I have a bed. I did have a bed. I swapped out the yellow bed for a brown bed here. And I think the only other thing I did off camera, I put down some cocoa bean seeds here. And I planted the, uh, what do you call it, the bamboo uh, right down there along the water. So we're going to cross the swamp and we're going to head that direction. And let's see, I need to remember these coordinates. Negative 270 and negative 130. In case we get lost. All right, let's go. Let's see where we end up. Uh, I'm probably going to do a lot of cuts as we go through here. Because uh, you guys don't want to see me just traversing the land. So when I find cool things, I'll bring you guys back in. Uh, but otherwise, I am just going to go on my little adventure here. Right, let's check out this mountain and that mountain. Oh, village. Yes, found a village. <laughs> fix my food problem for a good while, that's for sure. Well, that's one less piece of iron armor we have to make. Come here, donkey. Sweet, got the first diamond. Whoop whoop. We made it back, guys. 
We made it back. It's going to get dark. I don't mind it letting it get a little bit dark. So we'll sleep right here. Find a place to put my donkey. I don't think I have any leads yet, so I might have to just like dig a hole for him for now. I think I'll do that. I'll just right here. So let's see. Let's get all the important stuff out of here. Let's go get it sorted and put away. That one and that one. So my uh, valuables chest is starting to get where get somewhere. All right, so now that I'm back from my mining trip and I've gotten enough iron to uh, keep me going for a good while, I want to go down and create a little bit of a mine and get the deep slate I need to create to finish off this um, smokestack. Because I think that would be good. And then, and maybe even we can get some deep slate and maybe I'll find some diamonds while I'm at it. It'd be nice to find a spawner. Um, so what I think I will do... I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a spot at ground level and just dig down. Um, I could go down through this hole here. Actually, yeah, I think I will. And I know there's caves and stuff down there. But I think if I go down this one, I've been down to the bottom already. And it should be mostly safe. If I remember right. Okay, not safe, safe, but I can come down here. Yeah, let's explore this cave a little bit, and then let's see if we can't find a place to dig. Ah! And uh, maybe go down, maybe here I can dig and go down a little deeper. diamonds. All right, so you saw me get that diamond in the last clip. Um, a couple things here I want to show you real quick. Number one, I was having some problems with my FPS, and um, it was dropping down into the teens, and I think I've got it fixed now. And what I found was the update. Here, let me show my settings. Um, reset some of my settings, and what it turned out to be was this anti-aliasing. Um, when I turned that down to one, um, I got my FPS back. So, yeah, so there's that. Um, a couple things. I've worked on and put together my chimney. I'm sorry, I thought I was recording as I was building that, um, but I wasn't. Um, so it's, basically, it's just deep slate. It's the three different sets of deep slate. Um, I left the wood pillar here in the corner because that's the way I have the house set up. Um... Not sure that's right, the right way to do that. So let me know what you guys think, if I should leave that pillar there or if I should replace that with deep slate as well. I'm uh, not liking the way these vines are growing, so I'm going to have to do something with that. Um, after that last clip, I did use the diamonds. Where did they go? 
Oh yeah, it's upstairs. Um, for two things. Number one, I built a craft. Yeah, crafting table. Blah, 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 blah. Um, an enchanting table, and I also made a diamond pickaxe. And I used this diamond pickaxe to get some uh, blah, 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 blah. some obsidian. For one, I needed the obsidian to make the uh, the table, but also. Uh, I'm going to need it eventually to go to the nether, which is probably next episode. Um, the last thing I did is I have 5, 10, 11 bookshelves here, so I need a few more. So I'm going to do that today. I want to get this fully finished up up here so that I can uh, enchant. Uh, because I've decided as I was going through the different caves and the different, um, different things down, particularly down that way. I think it's back that like that direction in the caves is that um, there is a lot of ores in there and because I don't have fortune I'm gonna lose out big time uh, if I don't get fortune before going and harvesting those ores so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna try to get fortune on that, that diamond pickaxe before we proceed with doing more mining. And then we can go get some more diamonds with fortune. And then we can get kitted out properly. We can get this show on the road. Because uh, I do want to get to building out here in my swamp. It's my swamp. Uh, but I, run, I want better gear before I do that. And uh, just kind of looking around. I don't know if this is something you guys would do or not. Like, generally speaking, I love Minecraft terrain. I love all of this. But those two trees have got to go. That little floating block has to go. The mud on the top of that mountain there has to go. And that over there. And that's not something I'm going to do on camera. But, um, yeah, I, I, I can't. I just, I just can't. Um, let's see. I got some paper. Let's see if that's enough to get me the bookshelves I need. Four more. Let's go place these down, and then we should have... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And then we can do, let's see, how do I want to do this? Maybe we'll just do that. And then, oops. Now let's see what we can get. My first enchanting of this series is going to be Fortune 3. Yes, I just got to get 30 levels. I only have 24 levels. Nice. Okay, cool. So we'll do something fill up this space over here and unfortunately left all that hollow back there oh the other thing i did uh just threw some what's that tough in here i think it's a good mix and on the outside i've put some glue lichen to prevent mobs from spawning up top uh, a couple things i wanted to show you real quick you see i've got these smooth stone i used the smooth stone to make this armor stand and so let me show you uh this real quick i do have where is it there we are two i have two packs one is so i've got this markers pack uh, by Foxy No Tail. And I've also got the Brightness Pack. And both of these packs, uh, he has updated for 1.19. And if you haven't um, seen these packs or the different downloads that Foxy makes, I uh, encourage you very much to go check him out and check out his um, his website. It's just foxynotail.com. Foxynotail.com. So a uh, huge shout out to Foxy for making this. Um, it's, it's a game changer for sure. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end the video off here. Um, I normally like to shoot for about 20 minute videos, but this has been about three, three and a half hours worth of video uh, that I've edited down for you guys. And for the sake of getting a video out in a reasonable amount of time, I'm going to end it here. Uh, next episode, we're going to go to the nether. We're going to get up to 30 levels and get that fortune. Then we'll go clean out that cave and uh, see where that takes us from there. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please leave me a like on this video. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so. And until next time, guys, bye for now.